I, uh, as no one ever has put their hand up at school and said, one day I want to work in a contact center. You know, I didn't either, but I needed money for beer. And like most of us do at the a young age of 25. And, um, I just got back to South Africa from England. Uh, I did, did the old thing that every South African does when they were here in the early 2000s is work and live in a pub and uh, went back home and then needed a job. So going to the contact center, like for me, I grew quite quickly. I was recognized for some reason. And before I knew it, I was managing a whole bunch of people, but I was doing so many things wrong because I had no idea to be honest what I was doing. So I made a lot of mistakes, probably for six to 10 months. Um, to give an example of what I did is I was elevated from a team leader level, managing like 20 odd people to the manager of the call center. And I had my own desk that I had to go sit at, but I never went and sat there. I sat, still remained in my old desk for like three months. And you know, I was just scared of going to sit there. Um, I was trying to be someone I was not. So I was trying to, I was doing things like I wanted everybody to like me. So I would do everything for everybody. I would never say no, which kept me at work for long hours. But because people could see that this is what I was doing, they were just asking for stuff and I was always saying yes. But another reason I was doing everything for everybody was because I was hiding the fact that I wasn't, I didn't want them to see that I didn't know what I was doing. So if I did it in private, <laughs> my own time, then no one would see that I had no idea what I was doing. So all these leadership mistakes I was making, um, and plenty, plenty more, I can keep you going for a long time.